Hello, in front of me I have iPhone 14 Pro Max and iPhone 17 Pro Max and in this video we're going to perform a benchmark test on those devices. Okay, for this test I'm going to use uh, the Geekbench 6 app, the Antutu benchmark uh, and also we are going to perform one more benchmark uh, using the browser. Mm, so now let's begin maybe with the Geekbench 6 app. Okay, uh, now uh, we are going to perform a CPU and the GPU benchmark on both devices. So uh, let's begin with the CPU benchmark first. Let's run it. Click on run. Now the process will start mm, and I'll see you once we have our results. All right, now we have the results when it comes to the CPU benchmark. Uh, so on the uh, 14 Pro Max we have uh, 2669 when it comes to the single core score and on the 17 Pro Max we have 3738. So a little advantage into the 17 Pro Max. When it comes to the multi-core score we have 6844 on uh, 14 Pro Max and 9755 when it comes to the uh, 17 Pro max of course below we can scroll down to see some system uh, information about both devices now let's scroll down also to see some cpu information below we can also see the uh, memory information okay when it comes to the single core score we have another thing such as integer score and the floating point score uh, integer score on the uh, 14 Pro Max is 2581 and the uh, uh, floating point score is 2841. On 17 Pro Max it's 3704 and 3802. So as you can see the 17 Pro Max is still on the winning position. I will scroll down slowly so, so we can take a look into other uh, information right now. Now let's scroll down again to see the multi-core performance. Okay, mm. the integer score is 6634 and floating point score 7251 on 14 Pro Max and uh, on 17 Pro Max it's 9454 and 10,340 uh, 10, points on uh, 17 Pro Max. So you can see that when it comes to the results in the Geekbench 6 apps, mm, Geekbench 6 app. Uh, the 17 Pro Max is definitely on the winning position. Okay, I will scroll down again to, so you can see uh, some information. Okay, now let's perform the GPU benchmark. Let's select the GPU on both devices. Let's run the test and I'll see you once we have the results. Okay, we have results mm, when it comes to the GPU benchmark. On 14 Pro Max, it's almost uh, 2400, while on the 17 Pro Max, the GPU is almost 46,000. So we have twice uh, more points than uh, on the uh, Pro Max. Okay. I can scroll down so you can see some again. Again, some information. When it comes to both devices, you can take a look. All right, now let's launch the... Uh, onto to benchmark this app on both devices. And let's click on start testing. Okay. And I'll see you once we have the results. All right, the benchmark is finally finished. So now we have our results. In here above, we can see the overall score. We can see that the 17 Pro Max is definitely on the winning position. And also as we take a look down below, as when it comes to the CPU, and uh, we can take a look at the mathematical operations, common algorithms and multi-core. You can take a look on the differences. Same thing, of course, with the GPU. Next thing is the memory. And the UX. I'll scroll down so you can see all values. 
and that's the results in the Antutu benchmark. And here again we can see the overall score. Uh, Alright, and now let's perform the last benchmark that I was talking about. Uh, I need to uh, type it in the browser, so give me a second and I'll come back to you. Okay, uh, I'm using the Octane uh, benchmark for this test, and that's the last test that we're going to perform. So I'll run the test and I'll see you once we have the results. All right, we have the results. So um, the Octane score on 14 Pro Max is almost uh, 88,000. Uh, well, mm, only 70 Pro Max, we have uh, 110,000. Okay. I'll scroll down slowly so we can take a look into other values. On both devices. Okay. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.